And so Song, with his Song, with his or superior organization, uh, organizational skills, then creates the Kuomintang. And then obviously, with this new China going on, there would be an election. An election. There, uh, there, if the two, if, it's a bit like the um, American uh, system. But then there was a huge debate. Uh, Song wanted a parliamentary system, a system that's a little bit similar to, let's say, Australia, the UK, where the prime minister, or not, more like France and Germany, where, or even Singapore, where, the, uh, where, where in the parliament, the majority would be the prime minister. The president is only a, um, j j just a figurehead. And so uh, Song wanted that system. Okay, Sun didn't want it when he was president. But then he realized that Yuan Shikai is going to be president. He was like, okay, that's a pretty good idea. So of the combined, the, uh, the, it's a bit like the Americans, the House and the Senate, there's combined at 716 seats. Kuomintang, the Kuomintang, um, founded, um, founded and managed by uh, Song Jiaoren, got uh, 392 seats. So it was by far the biggest party. And so he was in Shanghai. He's supposed, and, and obviously, so he actually, interesting, he was literally one of the very, very few elected uh, officials. Uh, elected prime ministers of China. He never became uh, prime minister. But then he, what was interesting was he was only 31 at the time. So very, very, very young. And also another thing is, well, the election obviously is not the election that we know now. It's, uh, it's uh, women were now to vote. Um, you, uh, only about 10% of the population was allowed to vote. Uh, people with... It's interesting, like you, you need, yeah, you need at least 500 bucks worth of capital if you're a businessman. You need to be at least of the scholarly rank or you must have paid at least a dollar's worth of taxes or something like that for the past year. Like, like a bunch of stuff which basically no, no women, no children, and no uh, stupid and poor people, basically. So that the top... Like early US. Early US. So, so, so we're talking about 1912, right? So 1912. Um, and so it's, but he, he was in that election, or at least his party won. And so when he won, he was in Shanghai. And so Yuan Shikai was like, okay, you won. So why don't you come to um, Be Beijing and we'll talk. We'll, 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 let's see what we can do. When he was going, he, he, he took the train. He took the train. He was actually a very humble kind of person. He, uh, uh, Yuan Shikai tried to make him some you know, really nice suits. And he would... He, he would actually return them. He always had to wear the same clothes. He, was, he, was, he didn't have much property whatsoever. He, he, had, he, had, he was very idealistic. And he was, uh, he, so he was, he was taking the train up from Shanghai to Beijing. As he was putting his ticket in, someone from very close shot him three shots. Boom, boom, boom. At the time, there were three other people that were with him. Uh, Huang Xing, the, the guy who was in charge of the military side of the revolutionaries. Yu Ren. The, uh, the, greatest, the, the greatest modern day calligrapher, and Niao Zhongkai. So the three people were, were, were taking him away. Uh, Sun Yat-sen was, was in Japan at the time, uh, studying the railroad system in Japan. He was shot, um, three bullets um, in his abdomen, uh, as you can probably, as you can see from the, uh, uh, actually on this side. Uh, and then, really painful, he didn't bleed too much, but very painful because there, there, was, there was poison. In the, um, in the bullets. Right after that, um, Yuan, Yuan and the whole country was like, we must find the murderer. We must find the assassin. Assassin. What's amazing is they were extremely efficient. They talked to what's this one guy called Wang. Wang said, oh, I, I've seen this picture. Someone told me to get the, the, to, to ask me to kill him. Um, who's the guy? The guy is called Ying. Ying was actually a buddy of Chen Ximei. He, was actually, he actually worked for Sun Yat-sen. He was, again, one of the gangster members, the Qing, um, Qing gangster members um, in Shanghai. Okay, so where's Ying? They found him three days later in a brothel. Okay, and then they took him, and then they sent to his home, and then they realized that he actually commissioned a guy called Wu. To kill. Now, what's interesting is Wu was actually Wu was actually in Ying's home during the time of investigation. What is even more interesting was Wu Wu Shi Ying, um, 
was actually in the same brothel three days earlier. So why did he appear? And so they took the both of them in. Both of them in, what's in, uh, again amazing is, the whole of Shang was actually controlled by Chen Qinei at the time. Okay? And he had opium and everything he needed in the, uh, in the prison. In his home, they f- he found telegraph with a guy called Hong. Okay? Called, called Hong. Hong was the secretary of Zhao. Linking it. So look at this. Like, and Song, Song's dead. Okay. Now, what's interesting with Chiang Kai-shek? Chiang Kai-shek actually was commissioned by Chen Qimei to murder another revolutionary called uh, uh, Tu Chengzhang. Tao Chengzhang in, uh, in 1912. So he's done this kind of stuff before. So who killed Song Jiaoren? Uh, we have no idea. Uh, partly because um, someone gave him a, 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 like a Chinese, a Chinese bun, Chinese donut to Wu. Uh, you, know, we know, you know where the story is going, right? Poisonous, dead. Um, uh, a year later, in 19, early 1914, uh, uh, Ying Guiqing Ying was... Um, uh, taking a bus, uh, sorry, taking a train, and there were like five people with, uh, w- w- with, w- w- with swords and, you know, chopped into pieces. Dao, um, a year later, in early 1914, died at home. Hong? Or huh? He died at home naturally? Or? Beats me. <coughs> Hong, um, he, uh, he fled to Tianjin, so nobody touched him. In 1919, Song's son saw him, dragged him back, and had, had, had him hanged. He was a bit heavy, so actually he broke the rope. But in any case, he died. Okay? Chen himself was killed in 1915. Chen Kai-shek led the Kuomintang, right? In 1925. So that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's later. That's later, but he fought the communists, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so in this case, he was st- in, in this period, he's still a young guy working for Chen Qimei. Killing other people off, right. so so th- yeah. So that's was uh, he the first president, not president. What would yeah, president. He was the first president Taiwan. of Taiwan. Yes, yes, yes. So the, the Kuomintang then went from China in uh, nineteen, or went from mainland China in nineteen forty nine to Taiwan. Yeah. yeah. So, but so it's the same. It's kind of the same organization as Song Jiaren. Song Jiaren was founder of the Kuomintang. So so, or the de facto founder of the Kuomintang. Kuomintang, the earlier, the earlier. The, uh, an organization is called Tong Hui, obviously founded by Sun. Yeah. And so, Can I ask a quick non sequitur? Yeah. Um, sorry, fast forwarding, but when, do you know when Taiwan became a democracy? 1980s? Yeah. yeah. I, did, I took a class and saying, like, what, what does it mean to be a democracy, right? One of them is the opposition party then wins the first time. So we use that very technical, very specific case since 2000. When Chen Shui Bian became president, right? So, but basically, Taiwan is a democracy now, right? So, it's a, as, as democracies go. And, um, but Jiang obviously died in 1975, his son died in 1988, right? So, but that's, that's much later. Um, so, what's interesting is we have no idea that Yuan Shikai, so everybody says Yuan Shikai did it because he, Song, was going to become the prime minister that would threaten his power. Okay? Obviously, there are other, there are other schools of thought that would say this Chen Qimei and Sun, Sun Yat-sen try to kill Song as well. But, you know, we, 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 can, we can never tell. We can never, this is one of those things we can never tell. 